Good afternoon. Good. To, thank you for coming. Um, as it says, I am Adam Dent. I am Director of International Sales at Peerless AV. Um, one of the questions that may be asked, first of all, is who are Peerless AV? And I'll answer that in a minute. But more, perhaps more relevantly is who am I? Why am I standing here? I, over the last 20 or so years, have worked at Epson, at Optima, and a couple of other companies before I came to Peerless. And that gives me something of a, an idea of the large format printing business, as well as the digital signage business, because of course, Epson are a leader in large format printing, Optima are a leader in projection, and Peerless, we are very much focused on digital signage. So, I've spent all my time in international sales, a mixture of retail and B2B, as well as um, looking after different product areas as well. Peerless as a company is 70 years old and started off as a, a bracket manufacturer and that is still the core of our business but we've moved into digital signage brackets in a big way. We work closely with NEC, with Samsung, with LG, with all the major display vendors but we are now branching out into, some certain, into other product areas that broaden our portfolio. These are some of the product areas that we work in. This is not exhaustive and there are new ones that I'm going to talk about. These are some of the target markets that we cover. The important thing here is that many of these areas are areas that the print guys are selling into already. What we are doing is bringing a new technology and a new formulation of communication to an existing market. So there will already be, if I look around just this area here, there's bars, um, there's different business types. So we have healthcare, we have um, places of worship, entertainment, we have gaming. All of these are markets that the print guys are already working with. So all we're trying to do is bring our technology to them. And as far as Peerless is concerned, why isn't it going back? I want to go back a slide. Thank you. As far as Peerless is concerned, our core markets, and this is in America, digital signage, hospitality, education, CDO, which is the home install, and entertainment. This is where we excel with all our different product offerings. Within the Peerless group, there are about three and a half thousand products. So we cover an awful lot of areas within the AV business. Oh. So, one of the reasons why we think that there is interest and relevance for us being here is because if you look at any typical office setting, you see a mixture of communication types. So you have a large format poster on the back of the wall. You have a stand of brochures that are all printed. And you have a screen that conveys a message. So as I look around here, we've got all sorts of different... Hang on. Yeah. There. 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 So, you have various different means of communication, all of which complement each other. They don't. We are not going to see screens kicking out large format printing. We're not going to see brochures lost because the message is on the screen. The customers want to know where they are. We can communicate with them with a, a specific targeted message and then they want something to take away. All of that works for all of us. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about kiosks because that's a new area, certainly for us, but is developing significantly for signage. 
The first question, of course, is, is everyone happy when we talk about digital signage? And they understand, everyone understands what we mean, a display, a media player, and some sort of content. A kiosk is a simple and easy way of integrating all of that together. So you have the display in a, in a housing, whether it's metal or plastic, and a media player hidden inside it, which the content is fed to. As far as this business is concerned for printing, the important thing is that the kiosk can be wrapped. It can give a message on its own which supports whatever is on the screen and whatever content is on the screen. As Peerless, we, create a, we have a whole range of different kiosks, <clears throat> but ultimately the important thing is the interaction with the customer. <clears throat> so whether it's a customer walking up as a wayfinder, whether it's to have some means of customer support, so you have a microphone or a camera in the top, or whether it's gesture-based, so you put a connect, for example, in the top of the screen, but you also have, again, vinyl wrapping, which means you can convey the message. The important thing to remember here is that we're not looking, as a business, for Peerless is not going to come in and destroy the print business. Absolutely not. We are going to come in and support the print business because we're just another angle and another avenue for the customers. Don't think much of your... So, if you look at the different sorts of kiosks that there are, you can have Wayfinder, so how do I get from A to B? I, I was walking around uh, Bonn Airport this morning, Cologne Airport, and was trying to work out how I got down to the train, and there was a little sign at the top. If they'd had a Wayfinder kiosk, it might have been a little bit easier for me. If you then move on, they can be used for entertainment. So we know that Disney is very big into using integrated kiosk solutions, and again, all of them have some sort of permanent branding around them so that the customer knows what they're looking at. The, the message on the screen is very immediate and tactical. The branding, the, 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 the dressing of the kiosk, that is consistent and is something that people will see as they walk around everywhere in whichever environment they're in. We have digital merchandising and at point of sale you can put a medium-sized screen up. More recently, we have a 10-inch kiosk, 10-inch displays that fit on the shelf. So the customer can go up to it. There is touch interactivity. And they can see exactly what the special offers are. And that is probably, in a retail setting, where the big advantage of signage comes in. If you see that you have stock, you can highlight it on the displays, whether it's immediately around the area or by the shopping, by the, the checkout desk. Of course, ordinary posters that can be moved around. So as you need, as the, the, the seasons change, as different times of the day, you can move it around. And the important thing for the store owner, and here this is the Westfield Centre in the UK, they have the potential to sell advertising on these screens. So it is simply a re another revenue stream, or alternatively offer it comp in for, as a complimentary thing to encourage people to go and visit certain stores. So while you're sitting having a cup of coffee, you're seeing such and such a store is offering a new dress or a new piece of electronics or whatever it may be. In hotels, you have a virtual concierge. There is a fear, of course, that it does away with the, the staff behind the desk, and it doesn't do that. However, to be able to walk up, in, we've all seen them in, uh, in the airports, where you have a lady standing there like this with a, a rear projection, explaining to you why, what, what you have to do with your um, bag of toiletries. Well, this just takes that a step further. And again, you can build in interactivity to the top so that you can see who's walking up, 
what are they looking at? You can actually do facial recognition, potentially, with it. So it opens up all sorts of new opportunities. You can also change the format. You can integrate touch into all of these. So it becomes a complete solution. But again, not something that's going to replace the printed matter. Absolutely not. It is an, another reinforcing and another means of communication for it. So there's lots and lots of things you can do with kiosks. And it is the, the potential is as much as imagination as you have on it. We can also bring in the new bigger screens. So this, this has got to connect it integrated into the top of it. And you can actually you can use it to play games. Um, one of the things that we've seen in the US is the um, uh, you've seen the have you seen the bobbleheads, the dolls, um, some of the football football uh, teams, the NFL football teams, they are creating kiosks that they'll take your picture, and then you can have you see yourself as a bobblehead. The natural extension of that might be three D printing. So you then take a 3D printed version of yourself as a bobblehead in the future. But this, this obviously is based around basketball. So these are all for fan zones in the USA. Again, screen uh, vinyl wrapped on the back of the uh, back of the kiosk. But kiosks are fine for indoors. But one of the big growth areas that we're seeing is in outdoor. And a significant challenge to outdoor, unfortunately, is the weather. Because indoors, we know what the weather's going to do, and, and it'll be fine. When you take, as soon as you take it outside, you have all sorts of other challenges. So an area that we're focused on very much for Peerless is outdoor kiosks. And this, for us, is not just about the metal kiosk we are also supplying the display and this is a new area of business for us so we have a single display and again for the printers among you it's got printed boards on the side or even a triple display that is typically used in drive throughs this is a new area of the business for us but we know that outdoor signage is the significant growth area in the market what you have to remember whenever you go outside is you've got to find some way of dealing with the heat, you've got to find some way of dealing with the wet. So initially you have to look at the IP number. IP68 is the highest form of waterproofing that you can get and basically means that whatever it, the device is can be put underwater and it will still run. NEMA is a, an, uh, a means of measuring dust protection. Runs from 1 to 13. 1 is the lowest level, 13 is the highest. We offer, our product is in the middle, but NEMA 6 means that we can be used in mines or heavy industrial areas. And then the temperature, you need to have a product that will give you, protect the screen across the widest temperature range, and we do that from minus 40 centigrade to plus 60. One of the key things to bear in mind whenever you're talking about outdoor displays is that the low, the, the, the yes, you've got the, temper, the ambient temperature, but you also have to consider the direct solar load. What you can find is that as the solar load increases within an enclosure, you can get up to 50 or 60 degrees centigrade. And unfortunately, that will cook most displays and media players. So that may seem like overkill, minus 40 to plus 60, but the reality is, if you don't have that, you risk destroy, damaging the screen. So the products that we've introduced are the Peerless Extreme Displays, come in three sizes, 42, 47, 55, landscape and portrait. They have full HD resolution, our full IP68, 
NEMA 6 and minus 40 to plus 60. More or less you can stick these anywhere outside and they will work and run without any problems at all. The important thing to remember is that it's not just an enclosure, it's the full solution. So it's a display embedded into an enclosure. It is passively cooled, so there are no moving parts. So there's no maintenance, which is a key thing, because up till now, you have to use air conditioning. And the minute you put air conditioning onto a screen, the cost goes up, the capital cost, but also the running costs increase significantly. So, the Peerless Extreme displays give you the flexibility of taking products outside without any of the downside of maintenance or uh, concern about whether they're going to perform properly. Just to talk a little bit about the, 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 um, a couple of the technical features, because one of the challenges, one of the issues that we have is that our displays are rated at 700 nit. Nit is a, measure, um, a means of measuring brightness or 700 candela. That is typically found on indoor displays, which can be between 300 and 700. When you go outdoors, everyone is saying, oh, you need 1,500 or 2,000 candela. However, because we've used this optical bonding where we glue the glass to the front of the panel, actually, what we're seeing is that our 700 nit displays will stand quite happily side by side with a 2000 nit display. Unfortunately, I can say that to you till I'm blue in the face and you will say, but he would say that, wouldn't he? We have a variety of independent distributors and partners who've looked at it and they agree that our 700 candela solution with the optical bonding performs at the same level as a 2000. However, you need to see it. So, demonstrations are something we're keen to push. We also offer safety glass, six millimeter safety glass. So, uh, if someone really wants to damage something, they will. Nothing is 100% vandal proof. But for casual vandals, who are less committed perhaps, this level of, of protection is perfectly adequate. This is a, a picture of outside our office in the US. Uh, that is one of our extreme products, and it's been sitting out. Uh, that's been out there for about eight months. Our office is in Chicago, so it gets very hot in the summer and very cold in the winter. There you can see it looking cold. But it works quite happily, and in the mornings, it has the full sun on it. Typically, when, the, when you get the sun on, on an LCD display, you will expect to see some isotropism where it overheats. Absolutely no issues at all with this. Aha, you say. Fantastic. Have you sold any? Well, yes, actually, we have. So the guys have been selling these in the US for about the last three years. And coming up on the screen, you can see some of the people that we've sold them to. So Disney World in Orlando has about 120 units around their ticketing booths. Uh, Daytona Speedway are about to purchase 700 as they rebuild Daytona, which is the famous raceway. Two transport areas. Uh, this is the picture of the Washington uh, installation where they put the extremes outside for um, passenger information. However, even if you put them inside, it is still very good and necessary to have the NEMA 6 rating because there's a lot of dust and dirt and muck and gunge and horrible stuff around uh, transport networks, underground metros. That is a key consideration of why these were chosen. Uh, Chicago Transport Authority and also the Columbus Zoo has taken 25... 39 displays which they've put up around the place. So we have an installed base with some high profile names who are all using the extreme products. One of the big areas we see as potential is in, in Europe 
is ski resorts. And we've already had in Austria a number of sales into uh, ski resorts because we've only been selling these since the beginning of the year. But to support that, we also have a touch solution that fits around the outside. It's an infrared touch solution, so people wearing ski mitts can press for wayfinding. So we're trying to give a complete solution. I think the important thing to consider here is not, oh, it's a screen, and to be concerned about the fact that it's a different technology. It's not, it's not printing, obviously. But it is a natural extension of printing technology. There are enough companies out there who can help with integration and installation. There are fewer companies who know and have such a long history and pedigree as the print companies do with the customers who are buying these things and who are potential customers for these products. And that's basically why we want to talk to you guys because you know the customers and you've known the customers for a long time. Uh, and that's important to us because without doubt, this can bring a whole new effort and a whole new focus to their marketing um, and their activities. So, we see this as a combination of factors. One of the areas, uh, this was actually my distributor in Austria, that's, that's outside his um, office. And just to show the flexibility of it, because it's a screen, the day I rolled up, he can change it and pour every lights up there. By the way, he also runs a printing operation and the two coexist quite happily side by side. We see a combination of factors in or inputs, print, screen, and brochures, all of which are crucial to how we communicate with customers. And we see the outdoor displays, which in this case, quick service restaurants, but we see lots of opportunities in tourism, water parks, ski resorts. There's all sorts of places that can use outdoor displays, whether it's for marketing or whether it's for safety messages. Stadiums are a, have a significant potential because they are, need to communicate with a lot of people as quickly as possible. This is a, a slightly different area, and I've, I've just put this slide up because I was struck earlier on, one of the speakers was talking about creativity, and it's all well and good putting a screen up square. It's square or rectangular. At Peerless, we're trying to bring new mounting methods to the market, so we have with this a mount where you can tilt, twist the screen through 360 degrees to create all sorts of different patterns, which again adds to the interest because what we have to now remember is that people at home have more technology than they do in the office. People are used to things moving faster and quicker and they want to be enthused and attracted. All of these things enable us to do that and present a great opportunity for the print community to develop their business alongside us. So, that is a very quick overview into a couple of key areas for Peerless. Um, you have my email address on there, but if anyone would like to ask any questions, please feel free.